The crisis is now being felt outside the five boroughs. New Jersey is now seeing a busloads of asylum seekers in what some are calling a move to skirt New York City's new bus regulations. Today, New York's Tracy Strahan is in the Secaucus, where a bus arrived earlier this morning. Tracy? Well, new year and a new chapter in this asylum seeker crisis. We were here around 5 o'clock in the morning when a charter bus from El Paso, Texas arrived, dropping off asylum seekers who apparently skirted their way into New York City on a train. Now, let's show you the video now because this is what it looked like when we arrived. This was around 5 o'clock this morning. Now, the bus was met by New Jersey Transit Police. And those who got off, some of them wrapped in thin blankets, and some of them were young children. Now, it's unclear if they came here specifically to ride New Jersey Transit trains into New York City, but apparently that's what happened to asylum seekers in four cities in, throughout New Jersey over the weekend. And the mayor of Secaucus claims four buses of asylum seekers arrived at, here at Secaucus Junction on Saturday. And we're also hearing from Jersey City's emergency management, who claims that 10 buses from various locations in Texas and one from Louisiana arrived at locations in Secaucus, Fanwood, Edison, and Trenton. Now, they say it's an attempt to get around an executive order from Mayor Eric Adams when it comes to the arrivals of migrants. That order, put in writing, requires bus companies to give the city a heads up of at least 32 hours before they arrive. And that same order says drop-offs must happen between 8.30 in the morning and noon during weekdays only, all to attend to the safety of those who are arriving. And we heard in a statement from the mayor of Secaucus, he said, quote, It seems quite clear the bus operators are finding a way to thwart the requirements of the executive order by dropping migrants at the train station in Secaucus and having them continue to their final destination. Now, as you bring it back live, the mayor went on to say it appears that that loophole is bearing more consequences on the state of New Jersey. And again, we're saying about 400 asylum seekers arrived in four to five New Jersey cities over the weekend alone. We're live in Secaucus this morning. Tracy Stray